Welcome back, watch fans. You know, one of the big questions many of you have been asking is which watch, that's right, which watch brings maximum spiritual enlightenment? Is it Patek Philippe? Is it Audemars Piguet? And, uh, you know, I I'm thinking about this as, uh, you know, I got a couple minutes here in line at the car wash. Unbelievable, but true. You know, I uh, normally I have one of the servants come and wash the car, but, uh, you know, a certain, a certain situation, it means I have to do it myself. And unbelievable, but I, I'm actually—I've never had to wait in line at a at a wash. But uh, this leads me to the um, the question: the question, what is the watch for ultimate spiritual enlightenment? And my friends, the answer is the answer is Audemars Piguet. Audemars Piguet. Why? Well, look, the octagon eight. It's eight sides, right? Eight is a uh, very spiritual uh, type of number. Eight. In uh, you know the whole feng shui thing, it's a very uh, they take it very seriously the uh, Orientals, uh, and uh, you know I think it makes a lot of sense. Look, I'm, you know they didn't they didn't pull this out of uh, out of their ass. There is something to it. There really is, and um, you know there's something about the shape, the whole vibe. The whole vibe is really uh, quite quite incredible. Now here is the one thing. The one thing that concerns me is. I really love the design. I really love this, this this design. It speaks to me, maybe because this is from my era. You know, this is from the, you know, the time I was born. You know, early early seventies, right? Uh, and again, the vintage thing is, you know, I, I said this before. One of my ten commandments is that every serious collector needs to have um, a vintage uh, vintage watch. If you're going to be a collector, you know, if you have five six watches, you got to have some vintage. Uh, what kind of vintage? Well, vintage that's irrelevant to you, something that's historically important. Anyway, bottom line is, what's so special about Audemars Piguet? Um, look, until you've had a, a royal oak on your wrist, until you've had the royal oak on your wrist, you haven't experienced life, okay? You have not experienced life until you have had the royal oak on the wrist. Um, and by the way, this is the only watch that... Audemars Piguet makes it's actually uh, any good. The rest is garbage. Uh, I believe that the 1159, the Code 1159, ha does have some potential, but um, I'm not like uh, I'm not I'm not bullish on it. It's going to be a couple of years. It's going to be a few iterations before they uh, they figure things out. But look, this you know here's the thing. I don't know if you can appreciate this even. I don't know if you can even appreciate how well this this thing plays with the light i mean you really you got to see it every every different light condition is going to give you a new experience um the camera I, I hate to say this it doesn't really do it justice it really does not do it justice uh because um there's a lot of nuances that just don't get captured the angles the polish the brushing and again the best combination in my opinion is two-tone because that really gives you the ultimate experience you have two different two different contrasts and this watch this watch really is all about the contrast now why is this so much better than than rolex well my friends it is because this is it's basically it's a lot more exclusive i mean i think what do they make uh thirty thousand watches a year they don't make that many watches believe it or not i think i think even up until the 1970s i think up until 1970 they made like a thousand, a thousand watches a year, which is nothing. And Rolex was doing probably a couple hundred thousand. So, again, Rolex produces a hundred times, more than a hundred times. Actually, no, it's about a hundred times. Yeah, roughly, I'd say about a hundred times the amount that uh, AP does. Actually, is it? Wait, if these guys do 40,000, Rolex does, that's a 50. So, so it's a 50 to 1 ratio, whatever it is, right? Uh, bottom line is just it's a lot more special. It's not it's not so much the exclusivity part. It is just the it gives off a very special vibration. Okay, it's something you can't explain. Rolex is really a basic. It's kind of a basic peasant watch. Now I like wearing it when I'm consorting with the peasant classes. The Rolex is is the proper watch. I should be wearing it right now. You know, whilst 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 I am. Uh, getting the, the 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 car washed here um i mean who else waits in line like this i mean this is really what a waste of time this is i, I thought i'd be in and out of here but that's what happens on a sunday you know this is this is when all the peasants line up to uh wash their uh, hyundais and their 
shitters. Let me see. Yeah. How much should we spend here? We're gonna go for the head. We're gonna go the high roller. Hi there. How, How are you doing? You? Good, good. Just Thank the uh, the number three, the basic one. Absolutely. Thank you. I got you. There we go. Twelve dollars to wash a car. Unbelievable, but true. Uh, let's see. Me. Okay, no. thank you very much. Have a good one. You too, thank you. All right, gentlemen, this is uh, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you an incredible experience here of uh, of uh, the car wash. That's right. We're gonna actually you I, I, you will have the experience of the car wash right now. That's what you're gonna get, my friends. You're gonna get a Royal Oak. Have you ever seen a Royal Oak in a car wash before? I bet you haven't. I bet you have not. I bet you have not. Now this is okay. Here we go. Okay, see what I meant by the light? Look at this. I mean, look at the look at the polish. Look, I mean, you cannot get this with Rolex, and you know what? You cannot get this with Patek Philippe. I'm sorry, Patek Philippe does not match. Patek Philippe does not match this type of incredible experience. Now, by the way, compare this to the Nautilus. You know, the Nautilus, and again, you know, I'm so glad, I'm so glad I dodged the Nautilus bullet. I'm so glad I dodged the Nautilus bolt. I, I, right around the time I was, I was shopping for one of these, and by the way, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not like some of you uh, multi-billionaires watching my videos. I am actually, I'm actually, um, you know, I do serious shopping. I do serious shopping, uh, make sure I get the best price, because why? Well, it matters, it matters price matters by the way that's what we have our trusted dealers we got the trusted dealer network uh, that we bring on and what is that all about well how does it work well what I do is I look for dealers that I know are legit people who have bricks and mortar stores that have also the best prices you know guys will give you like legitimately you know bottom of the market prices okay because they do volume they give you the bottom of the market price they give you good service you know if you don't like the watch you can return the watch uh, guaranteed, th you know, whatever it is, money back guarantee, free shipping, and um, hang on a second. Let me, let me see. We may have to, we may have to put this on pause for a second while I, uh, while I go in here. I don't want to run these these fine people over. There you go. My, the, my servants, my staff, my staff is uh, washing the car. Hang on a second. Let me get. Neutral park. What? Neutral, yeah? Yes. It's a neutral. Fuck. Make sure your uh, emergency brake is like off. Yeah. Okay. Ah, shit. I see what happened. Welcome back, watch fans. Wow, this is a very interesting. Apparently, apparently the car was in sport mode or something. Something was the something with the suspension. Yes, that is uh, what causes problems uh, when whilst whilst in the car wash. Now, in theory, in theory, I know a lot of you say, well, you shouldn't do machine wash. You should all do hand wash. But look. I'm a value, value collector, okay? I do not buy retail, I do not buy new. I only w want a good deal. I don't buy cars new, I don't buy watches new. Unless there's some special deal. Unless there is a special deal. Uh, and, uh, you know, why, uh, why spend 50 bucks on a hand wash, you know, when you can, 
go through one of these fun experiences here. And, uh, you know, it's like a little vacation, a little vacation for you. Look at this. Look at this. It's like, it's like you're in an aquarium here. Unbelievable, but true. Now, this watch is not really uh, water. It's not really water, uh, how shall I say it? Not, not advised, not advised to go in the water with this watch. Not advised. I have never gone swimming. I've never gone in the ocean. Rolex, okay. Rolex is okay. Audemars Piguet, would not recommend. 